Hi all, in this video, let's learn about the JavaScript interview question. That is the difference between type of and instance of in JavaScript. So let's see that. So for example, here you have constant A and we have provided one string value and constant B and we have created a new object string like this. So both the type of and instance of these two are used to check the type of a value. What is the type of a value? That is what these both operators are going to do. Firstly, let's see about the type of. Yes, type of A, what it returns. So type of A, it returns string. So because this is of type string, this type of is an unary operator. It returns a string. So it will be returning the value in string and the value inside this can be anything. It can be a string, number, boolean, anything it can be, but it will be returned in the form of a string. Remember that and also it can return a string number or a boolean object so these are the values for this type of this is a unary operator it means only one operand is enough to evaluate the result so now let's check the type of b so type of b now what it gives the type of b is object now because this will not give this will not return as a string as you used new it means you are creating a new object string object so that's the reason the type of b becomes object here so this is about type of so coming to the instance of so the same example let's see for the instance of so let's see the instance of so when you you are using instance of instance of is a binary operator it means let's write the syntax for the instance of so it will be like object instance of constructor so this is the syntax of the instance of this is how you need to give the instance of so this returns true the instance of what it does it will not give what the type so it will just say whether it is true or not so let's say instance of a is string so in our case is it true or false it will only return whether it is true or it is false that's it so now a instance of string so string is a constructor function here okay now a is an object and a object is instance of the constructor function no right this is a normal string so that's the reason it returns false so when you are using instance of this is a binary operator it means it needs two things to evaluate to evaluate it needs two things whereas type of is a unary operator it returns any of the values within this double quotes string as a string but type instance of will return true or false now if you take this same example with b instance of string yes it returns true the reason behind this is yes b is created with this string constructor function so that's the reason it returns true so the same things the values are different here so this these are the this is a primary difference between the type of and instance of so mostly the instance of will not be work so let me write this point instance of does not work for the it will not work for the primitive types so primitive types means so number boolean and uh, string so these are the primitive types most of the cases don't use instance of for the primitive types so what if if you want to check whether a given value is a string a plain string primitive or it's a string object so for that you can write your own function and you need to check the both the things so let me show you that constant is string so I'm writing a function. So where I want to check whether the given string is a primitive or an object. So for that, what I'm doing, I'm returning the type of string, the type of string, if it is equal to string. So then that is a primitive string. If not, or I'm saying this, and I'm telling this string instance of, instance of string constructor function. So this is how you can declare. So now what we are doing, we are checking whether the given string is primitive type or it is a object type. So both you are checking in a single function. So you can use this each string and you can verify both whether it is a primitive string or it is a string created with the string object. So let, how to check this? So let me write this each string. So now if I write hello world here, so this is a primitive string so just a string so what it returns yes here also it will return true because this is a string it will go here and type of this string is equal to string so that's the reason it returns true so the same is string so i can create a new object new string constructor object and here also if i give hello world 
So now what it happens? So it will also return true. So this is what happening. So you are using a same function e string and you are passing a primitive type also you are getting the answer and if you are passing a constructor function also you are getting the answer so if you want to check both the primitive type and the object constructor function or not then you can use something called like this okay and we can learn few more things with the type of an instance of so for example there, there is also one more interview question like they will be giving like type of type of 10 like this so what is the output here so first thing is like whenever you get some questions like this type of 10 what it returns it returns number but number within this string so this is what it is evaluated the first part this is will be evaluated into a number but that will number will be in a string so that's the reason again if the type of number it means this is in string now so what you will be getting here you will be getting an object as a result so for this the answer is object so we need to understand that so this is the one thing. This is also an internally, if you know more about the type of, so what is type of returning you back? It is returning a string and it is keeping the type of the operand inside this string. That is what this type of operator is doing. Fine. So let's learn one more point here. Let date equal to new date. Now let's see one more point related to the instance of. So if I say date instance of, if you say date instance of date okay now is it true or false yes it is true because date is an instance this is an object and this is created with the help of the date constructor function so it returns true fine so let me check the same thing date instance of object so here this one also returns the true what is this object so in javascript whatever you have so that is all the primitive types so let me write a point here so all non primitive all non primitive objects or instance of objects so in javascript we will be having an object this is a parent object all the other non primitive objects so now i am also mentioning this as a non primitive object so this is non primitive object this is not primitive so that's the reason this is an instance of the main object this is a parent object for all the instances so that's the reason here you are getting as this as a true so that is the reason not only this date whatever the object you can also give the string also here that will also return back true for example if i say b instance of object yes this one also returns true because b is a non-primitive object and object is a parent for all the other objects so that's the reason here also you'll be getting it as a true so the main differences are this is a unary operator this is a binary operator and here you will be getting the output in terms of string and you will be getting any like string number uh, boolean all the types you will be getting here but with the instance of it would be written you false or true and now you can check whether it is a primitive or not primitive then you can go with this okay and uh, this is what we know and uh, so whenever you want to check a primitive types okay plain primitive types then go with the type of so if you want to check any of the instance objects related things go with the instance of so this is the differences between the type of an instance of and when to use what and majorly we use this type of an instance of to check whether the value what is the type of the value we have so hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos